Hey Phil, I did it. I built the registration page. Da -da 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 Batman. Well, Michael, it's very um, comprehensive. Kapow. Too comprehensive. Well, is it okay if I make a few minor changes? Sure. Your feedback is always welcomed. And done. Maybe once we're finished here, you'd like to actually explain to me the term minor. Well, Michael, I'd get lost on your registration page, but not as much as your webinar registrants would. Okay, hit me. Well, it's all about simplifying things. I mean, think of yourself as a registrant. You want things to be easy and you want to be inspired. Yet? Well, meaning it shouldn't take more than five or ten seconds to register. Okay, I'll give you that, but talk me through the differences. Well, firstly, there was way TMI. Too much information? Well, I need that information. Yeah, but do you need it now? I mean, you want to get the basics like name, email address, company, and use drop-down boxes if you can because that makes your screen look like much less work. And if you need any additional information, you can get that on the day or even after the event. Good point. What's this? Well, why not ask some open-ended questions? I mean, you've never met these people and chances are you may never meet them, so why not ask them what they want? That way you can tailor your presentation to what my audience wants. Exactly. Okay, I get them to this page, they register, then what? Well, the great thing is they have converted, but you've got to keep them hot. Now, remember, our webinar's free, so that means you only get about a 50% attendance rate. 50%? And that's Whoa. on a good day. The power of positive thinking. Well, I hate to break it to you, Michael, but your webinar is not on top of everybody's priority list. Okay, moving along. Okay, so you always send out an autoresponder email once they register. What? Okay, before you ask. An autoresponder is an email that goes out within seconds of registering, so it has the link to join and any other instructions they'll need on the day. That is service. Well, that's what people expect. True, but what else do I need in there? Well, I definitely put in an add to calendar link. That way people don't have to trawl through their inbox to find the details, and if it's in their calendar, they're more likely to join. Roger, got it. But I really want to get back to this 50% attendance thing. How can I increase that? Well, I reckon there's a few ways. We will definitely send out a reminder email so we give all the details again and the benefits of attending the webinar. Okay, got it. When do I send it? Well, we're doing our webinar mid-morning, so I'd say about one or two hours beforehand. Plus, if we get a lot of registrations, we might do one the day before. As long as there's 24 hours between them, I think we'll be okay. I agree. So, we're done then? We're done. Atomic batteries to power, turbine to speed. Roger, Robin.